So there are exactly three routes to come from north of Bangalore to south of Bangalore. Two routes are long routes, while the one which is shorter is too much crowded. My question to you is, which one will you choose? The long routes, which will take more time, or the short route, which is too much crowded, so it will take probably the same time. Well, that is how our career is. There will be some routes to achieve success, which will seem to be longer, but it will be less crowded. And there'll be some routes which will be too much crowded. We don't know which route to take. And that's exactly where you, I, or anyone would need a mentor. Now, the question to be asked is who can be your potential mentor? Now, in all my videos, I always suggest that you should have three mentors. One can be, of course, your parents. The second is your professional mentor. And the third is a neutral mentor. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about what kind of questions you should ask your mentors so that you can achieve success faster and you know the path on which you're going is the right path. You see, the moment you have that confidence that the path you have chosen is going to be the right path, you pursue it faster, you pursue it with confidence and that leads to faster success, right? And if you are not sure if the path is right or wrong, you will go slow and that is where you you'll try to be safe but actually you are reaching your destination late. And that is the reason it's very important to choose the right path. And it is very important to have confidence that the path which you have chosen is the right path, right? And that is where mentor works like a air traffic control. He'll tell you which way to go. Just like I told you three routes are there. So if there is a Google map, it, it will tell you that there is congestion on the second route and there is uh, less traffic, but longer route is there on the first and the third. So the same way the mentor works. Now, Never ever ask your parents about professional mentorship. Like your pa parents can probably never be your professional mentor unless they are from the same field. Even if they are from the same field, they may not be your, they can probably not be your uh, professional mentor because your parents are programmed to keep you safe. While career is all about risk, right? So when your parents are programmed to keep you safe, they will never allow you to take risk. For example, I was told that I should not pursue Biotechnica instead, I should go for a government job, probably a bank PO or probably a UPSC. But I didn't do it because I knew that they are looking for a safe career for me while I have to experiment with my career. They know only three routes while there can be million other routes. Right? The same thing I want to tell you today that there are million other routes which you may not know or your mentor will know, but professional mentor. Your personal mentor or your, um, uh, your parents are actually your safe mentors. They'll keep the safety check. Like, okay, you're going to a new city, safety check. You're going to a new office, safety check. You're going to a new organization, safety check. That's how parents work. But they probably can never be a professional mentor because profession and career is all about taking risk. The more risk you take, the longer you can achieve success, the faster you can achieve success. So that is where now let's look at the professional mentor. So now to make your life easy, we have come up with a mentorship program at Biotechnica where you can uh, talk to your mentors directly and you can get guided. But there also the, uh, the first mentorship session we conducted last month, I think on 28th of May, and majority of the students asked silly questions or questions which was not relevant. So that is where I thought, let us come up with a video so that you know what kind of questions you should ask you to your mentor and get the maximum benefit. You see, even if you ask a wrong question to Google, Google will never give you the right answer. The same way you have to ask the right questions to your mentor. Now I've compiled a set of 10 questions. I've, actually it can be 20 or 25 also, but to keep this video short, I have compiled a, a set of 10 questions which you should ask your mentor. The first one will be, which career path suits me? That's the first question you can ask. The second one which you can ask is, what skills or knowledge areas I should pursue to achieve this path? You can also ask, what specific certification courses or additional qualification will be required to achieve success on this particular path which I want to pursue or which you're suggesting? That's the third question. The fourth one can be, how can I effectively network and use the network of you, that is the mentor, to achieve success on this particular path which I have chosen? Right. So this is, that's the fourth question you can ask. The fifth question you can ask is, how can you provide guidance in crafting a strong resume? Like what should be the strong resume? What ingredients I should put in so that I can get hired faster? So that should be one of the questions you should ask your mentor. The second one which you can ask is strategies to find job opportunities faster. And uh, I think your mentor would have done been there, done that. So you can ask that question. 
The seventh question which you can ask is, what professional organizations or uh, associations I should join as a biotech professional? Because they would have already got the membership. They'll guide you that, okay, if you join this, you will be successful. For example, uh, my mentor guided me to join iBiome, which is a group of uh, biotech CEOs in uh, across India. And that is that has provided immense benefit to me. It's like Red Bull. So now I can reach out to any CEO of any company and uh, speak to them about anything which I want. So my mentor had a network. He just introduced me to the network, right? So that's Jagdish Mitur sir. So he helped me there. So that is where you can ask what kind of organizations or associations you should join. The next question you can ask is what personal experiences or wisdom or lessons they have learned which they would like to share. Now these lessons or these life lessons are not there in the books, right? These are practical learning lessons which they will guide you. So you can ask that as well. Then next you can ask how to stay updated with the latest advancement in this world, in this particular biotech world because it is competitive, it is dynamic, it's in the flux, it's changing every day. So how to stay up to date? They will guide you on that. And of course, if you want to know about this answer, I can probably recommend Biotechnica because that's the place you should be. Then the last question we should you should ask is, or are there any mentorship programs or internship opportunities under him or um, under anywhere else in the country which will further guide them? So these are the few questions which you can ask your mentors. In fact, uh, you can further customize and tailor make it according to your requirements. But remember, if you're not asking the right question to your professional mentor, you will never get answers and you will be confused. You will be like, I do have a mentor, but still I'm confused. Because it's like you, you do have a Google, but you don't know how to search in Google, right? The same way it happens. Now coming to the third type of mentor, which is a neutral mentor. So a neutral mentor is somebody who's not from the field, but has a bird's eye view of the economy, right? I believe that financial uh, wisdom is very much required for biotech students and biotech professionals and entrepreneurs as well. Because when you don't have bio, uh, the financial wisdom, see, you are going to operate in this economy which, which works on money, right? And at the same time, if you pursue something which is not yielding you the relevant return over investment, like you sp spent 10 lakhs in your education and you're not getting enough money, so you will be frustrated thinking that the path is wrong, but the truth is you are not financially educated biotech uh, biotechnologist or biotech uh, professional. So that is something which you should know. And that is where you can take help with a neutral mentor. So these are the uh, 10 or 15 pointers which I wanted to share you, with you today. One last point which I want to highlight is if ever in life you're confused, you don't know which way to go, my email ID is shekhar at biotechnica.org. You can straight away shoot a question to me and most of the time if I'm available, I'll reply. If not, then you'll get a reply in 24 to 48 hours time. And if I forget to reply because there are so many people who email me, you can always send a reminder email and I'll reply. But that's one, one thing which I can promise you and I wish you all the best and keep shining. I know that somewhere you have this urge to become super successful in the biotech industry, but for that to happen, you'll have to take the first step. And that is today. You have to take the first step today by seeking help from your mentor and you see magic will happen. All the best. Mm -hmm.